The American West has always been a hard, tough, untamed land, challenged only by the rugged, the willful, and the brave. But there have always been the less prepared, the city-bred strangers, the tenderfoots, fish out of water, who were given a name that in itself became legendary. They were the Dudes. Now it is 1987, and the cities have spawned new strangers equally ill-suited to the reality of the West. Meet today's Dudes. Born to be a cowboy. I'm born to be a cowboy. Hey. In Dudes, a new motion picture from New Century Vista, these Easterners traveling in the West are New York City natives portrayed by actors John Cryer, Daniel Robach, and Flea. I'm so sick of doing this. I'm sick of waiting for the world to end. <laughs> Me too. Why don't we do something else for a change? Yeah, like what? I don't know. I bet we can figure something out if we put our heads together. California. Let's move to California. Heading out west to start a new life, this eager band of urban rebels takes a very strange detour to their destination. Hey man, we're not looking for any trouble really. <laughs> we are. Written by J. Randall Johnson, who sought to give his film an epic quality. Dudes is directed by Penelope Spheris, who through such films as The Decline of Western Civilization, Suburbia, and The Boys Next Door, has become the colorful film voice of today's beat generation. I realized that Randy Johnson, the uh, scriptwriter, knew a lot about what he was talking about. I, I, the dialogue was very realistic and true to contemporary kids' thinking. And I, I, I know a lot about that um, because of the other films that I've done, and I, that's why I responded to the script. It was just very uh, realistic. I had a heck of a time coming up with a title for the thing, and I wanted something very epic, and, you, know, and, uh, you know, the searchers or <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, those titles were already taken. Um, so I had a, I was not sure, and I had come close to two-thirds or three-quarters of finishing the script before I, I thought of Dudes. And I liked Dudes because it was the original connotation of that term, of Easterners uh, coming out west and who had no idea how to ride a horse, how to uh, shoot a gun. It's too bad they don't make very many westerns anymore because it, it's a lot of fun. I learned how to horseback ride and I got to do chase scenes and, and shoot at people and get shot at and get shot, you know. and and uh, and I. You know, in movies, you always think, oh, I, you know, when he got shot, he didn't even wince, you know, and it's not, you know, it's, it, it should be easier to do. But, you know, it takes a long time to set that stuff up. And when those things, like, blow off, they hurt. You know, so you're not automatically thinking about your performance. You're like, wow, <laughs> that really hurt. <laughs> you know, I really got shot. And, uh, you know, and I only had to get shot once. I mean, I felt really sorry for the people who got shot a few times. In Dudes, the reality of the West becomes apparent early in the story. You don't even know how to shoot a gun. Those, those maniacs were born with them. Just, just let the cops handle it, okay? But they're not gonna do anything. Come on, you saw them. If we don't do anything, nobody will. We? Oh no, no, no. What, wait, you don't, you don't care about what happened? <laughs> yes, I care. But if Milo were here right now, he'd, he'd say, get going, man, go to L.A. That's what I'm gonna do. I got a plan. You got squat with 40 bucks. I gotta take my chances. How are you gonna get there anyway? It is a, uh, an adventure, and I also think a fantasy uh, adventure. And uh, one that just covers the gamut of three people's lives and how three days in their lives are completely changed by what they experience. It's also a comedy, and there's a, there's a lot of things to laugh at in it. And, uh, and you know, we really, we really tried to make you, make the people relate with the characters. Coming to the aid of Outsiders Grant and Biscuit, 
is Catherine Mary Stewart, who portrays Jesse, the tow truck driver. Well, you boys are having quite a day. And Gunslinger. She stabilizes them, basically. They're sort of flying off on all different tangents. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to go about what they want to accomplish. And she really helps them um, zero in on what they want to do and how they're going to go about doing it. She gives them the vehicle to track these guys down in and the weapons and everything. Catherine Mary Stewart is great because she's like a chameleon. She has um, so many different looks. Every film that I've seen her in, she has different looks. And now we have her, she's got uh, red hair and she's got those beautiful blue eyes and that really um, uh, soft, sensuous look that she has. The editors would, would always want to like work on her scenes so they could <laughs> sit there and look at her all day. You know, She's really a sweetheart. One thing that was neat for me in this film was Penelope wanted me to be a redhead. and. My hair against the, the Arizona land, I mean, I blended right in. It was fantastic. So, you think you can handle it now? Oh, yeah. No problem. OK, then. Show me your stuff, city boy. Sure. Yeah! Whoa. Dudes, the story is as fresh as the paint on a New York City subway and as timeless as the prairie lands of the Southwest. Dudes, their time is today. Good night, you crazy knuckleheads. <laughs>